In a significant endeavor to promote domestically designed and developed weapon systems, the Indian Army has submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Defense for the acquisition of 400 howitzers from Indian manufacturers. The Indian Army's Artillery Regiment aims to harness the expertise of the Indian industry to deliver a 155mm-52 caliber towed gun system that will possess characteristics such as reduced weight, enhanced versatility, and adaptability to future technological advancements. According to senior military officials, a proposal has been forwarded to the Ministry of Defense for the purchase of 400 155mm-52 caliber towed gun systems TGS, and accompanying towing vehicles from Indian companies, falling under the by Indian IDDM, indigenously designed, developed, and manufactured, category. The government is expected to make a decision regarding the TGS procurement in an upcoming high-level meeting. The Indian Army has already issued a tender for the acquisition of 307 advanced towed artillery gun systems, ATAGs, and is exploring options for a mounted gun system to fulfill its requirements along the borders with China and Pakistan. The aim is to produce a howitzer that is entirely Indian in origin. The Army's preference is for lighter weight guns that can be easily deployed in high altitude regions, similar to the older Bofors guns. This procurement process aligns with the Indian Army's plan for mediumization, emphasizing the utilization of indigenous artillery. It is anticipated to be completed by the year 2042. Over the past decade, four contracts have been executed for the acquisition of 155mm howitzers. These gun systems, including Danush, Sharung, Ultra Light Howitzer, ULH, and K-9 Vitra self-propelled guns, have already been inducted, with more regiments being equipped with these advanced artillery pieces. Dunish guns represent an electronic upgrade of the Bofors guns, while the Sharon guns have undergone an upgrade from 130mm to 155mm caliber. Seven regiments have already been equipped with ULHS, and five have been outfitted with self-propelled guns. On March 2, 2023, Army Recognition published that, according to Manjit Negi in India today, the Indian Army was going to place orders for 307 advanced towed artillery gun system, ATAGs, howitzers, which will be manufactured by two private firms in India. The proposal, worth over 8,000 rupees crore, has been floated by the Indian Army and is expected to be cleared soon, top government officials told India today.